Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Spoiler Alert by Fanservice Apparel. This is episode 11. 11! We're already at 11. That's exciting. Thank you so much for tuning in, especially those of you who've been here all along. Yes, thank you. And um, today we're going to be talking about some of the most popular Halloween costumes for the year. Yes, because this is our Halloween episode. Halloween! And there has been a lot of... um, Halloween worthy uh, fan content recently last year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I was going to say Halloween y stuff, but I, I thought that's, <laughs> that doesn't sound. Uh... That doesn't sound like it's on topic. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what we'll be talking about today is um, going down the list of some of the most popular costumes. Right. And so now, if you are a parent, you'll understand. We are parents. Um, we have a daughter. She is not yet two years old. Um, she's just a little one, but you think of Halloween differently once you're a parent, and it's mm-hmm. so exciting, and I really I really like it. Um, it's just kind of, I don't know, I think it's fun that right as your interest in Halloween kind of begins to fizzle as you get older, then you get to live it all again through your child, and boy, does our child love Halloween. Mm-hmm. She's so excited. She's been, She's been so excited about Halloween for about two months. Um, since she first started to see pumpkins in stores or whatever, and then she thought it was Halloween because <laughs> there were pumpkins. And I had yeah. to try to help her understand, we both did, that, like, it's not Halloween yet. It's just Halloween time. So we, like, made one of those paper chains that people usually make for Christmas to count down the days to Halloween. Yep. And we had to start with, like, 50 because that's how far uh-huh. away it was. And we were like, like, we need to rein in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but she's very excited because, um, as we're recording, this is actually on October 30th. So tomorrow is the day. Yeah. And you'll, oh, I was just going to say she's going to trick or treat and she's very excited. Very excited. You'll notice, uh, those of you that have been noticing our cadence, normally our podcast would come out Wednesday evening. Um, but or early Thursday or early Thursday. Um, but we are trying a new format as we kind of play around. Um, we're trying Saturday, Saturday, midday, kind of posting maybe Saturday in the evening. Um, so we'll see how that goes, uh, mm-hmm. if that's more convenient, if it's less convenient, uh, if you have any sorts of thoughts on it, we'd love to hear maybe it. Maybe so they don't please, care. I don't, okay, maybe you don't care. If not, <laughs> if you don't care, let us know if that you, you don't care. Yeah, that's fine yeah. too. Let Just us know. Just comment, Either no comment. way, <laughs> that's fine, no comment. So, jumping in, Janae, I'm gonna have you guess some Halloween things. Okay. And... I'm not going to tell you the order. Okay. And this is from USA Today, the top 2021 Halloween costumes from Google search results. Yes. Okay. I usually look at these articles, Yes. I, but I haven't. So there are some that you're going to go, oh, okay. And there are some here by location that are interesting. Mm-hmm. But let's just start off with the top 10. What do you think the number one costume that people Googled in 2021 it ha- is has been so even though it's very recent i think this is why it might be number one i'm gonna say squid games nope really yep do you want to know what the number one is is squid wait d- did squid games make the top 10 no are you serious i was certain we would just see people in green jumpsuits and the pink thing with so the mask squid everywhere game is the 23rd most popular Whoa. in google search all right well um Although, weirdly enough, in the city of Detroit, it is the most popular Halloween costume. Interesting, Detroit. Yeah, interesting, Detroit. If uh, you're from Detroit, are you guilty of this? Are you going to be a Squid Games person? I really want to know. Why is it trending up in Detroit? Are people throwing Squid Game parties? Maybe. Maybe. That's an idea. Okay. Yes. Okay, so if okay. it's not that, can I, can, I, can I ask for a hint? Or no, don't tell me. Okay. Tell me. Wait, tell me if <laughs> I love guessing games. I'm really excited. Can you tell? <laughs> is it a is it superhero related? Is it no. is it from is it from a comic? No. Okay, that takes out many of my guesses. Wow, what's gonna be number one? If it's not that, if it's not, um, hmm. You know this. I think I'm just gonna read you the list because you, I don't think you would have gotten many of these. I'm gonna For be real? For real. This is okay. Remember, this is. All of Google. Start at number 10. Okay. Start at number 10. Or start at, what, Start wherever you feel. It's a top 10. I'll start at 10. Okay, great. <laughs> so costume number 10, 
Chucky. Really? This is all of Google for 2021. So it might be something might be popular here. We might be talking about it, but you gotta you gotta cast a wide net with That's Google. That's a good point. So wide net, Chucky. Number nine, clown. <laughs> Just clown. Just clown. Number eight, cowboy. Really? Yeah. Number seven, Harley Quinn. See, I thought maybe when, when it wasn't Squid Games, I thought Harley Quinn would be number one. Number seven. Number six, fairy. Fairy? Just fairy. Number five. Okay, people need to get a little more creative with okay, this. Okay, <laughs> again, wide net. Wide net. Cowboy, really? Okay, number five, Corella DeVille. Oh, of course. Number five is Corella DeVille. Ooh. Number four, Spider Man. Spider Man, mm, classic. Mm -hmm. Number three, Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Number two, Rabbit. Rabbit? Just rabbit. I would have never guessed that. And the number one Google oh, search. Oh, no. It's going to be so weird, isn't it? It's witch. Witch. Just, Wh just classic witch. witch. Classic witch. More oh, people. Oh, my gosh. I was thinking in too much in terms of like characters. You were in your own little stuff. bubble. I should have just thought, you what, what do people classically just go, I don't know what to be. I'll be a witch. Yep. Squid be... Game, again, 23rd most popular. I'm really surprised by rabbit. That makes no sense to me. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen somebody dress like, like a rabbit. Maybe maybe they'll say rabbit, and then Google will say, did you mean Playboy Bunny? Because That would make more sense. That would make more sense. Uh, let's see. Other notable costumes. Pokemon is number 50. Just the word Pokemon. People search for Pokemon. Sure. Fortnite was number 44. Oh, I'm surprised that wasn't higher. Velma from Scooby-Doo was number 42. You know. Poison Ivy was number 33. Beetlejuice was number 24. Wow. And 1980s was number 18. <laughs> like a 1980s costume. Yeah, of course. Uh, and there's a there's like an image here of somebody that's kind of dressed, I guess 80s, kind of looking like Michael J. Fox went from Teen Wolf. Oh. But he's wearing like a vest, like a you know, like a life preserver vest, <laughs> like in Back to the Future. Um, here's another good one: most popular Halloween costume by region. Yeah. By region, okay. Um, <laughs> is this just the U.S. regions or worldwide? This is the U.S. U.S. This is U.S. Okay. regions. So, uh, <laughs> the number one for Montana. Uh mm -hmm. Space cowgirl. No. Yes. I kind of like that. I would dress as a space cowgirl. Well, you got a I got couple hours time. before a party. <laughs> uh, Rockford, Illinois. Baby Yoda. Of course. The, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Eureka, California. The number one search costume was Hugh Hefner. Really? I don't. I don't. I don't get that one. Uh, to be honest. That's interesting. Okay. Notable cities: Los Angeles and Phoenix, Arizona, Corella de Vil. That's okay. the number one. I'm excited. For that area. I'm actually excited to see this because what's fun about dressing like Cruella is that you have options. You do for the style you're gonna choose. You know, she has so many costumes in her new movie. I'm assuming this is this is because of the I, new I'm movie. Gonna, I'm gonna guess that this is because of this the new movie. This isn't gonna be like classic Cruella, probably. And, and you know, part of this might be because it did debut or did uh, not debut it was very immediately available on disney plus mm -hmm. and that's how we ended up watching it we was did. On, we was waited on, we waited and we watched it on disney plus but you know you kind of cast a really wide net on people watching this that's and true. i th you know i don't know if it was just happenstance or they did it on purpose but it was really good and it's timing. a costume you can have fun with because you can put it together yourself you can design it you can make it and it's loud still and crazy. it's not like so new that it's trying to fight for the attention of you know things that are out right now but it is still new enough that if you go as it for halloween it will still be very cool very cool and very mm -hmm. trendy um washington dc and new york city chicago and chicago is spider-man okay okay Miami. Miami. Hmm. The number Miami. one search term. No idea. No clue. Fairy. In Miami? In Miami. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I really want to see what that looks like. Uh, Kansas City and Missouri. Kansas City is in Missouri. 
There's a comma here as if it were. Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. Isn't there Kansas City, Kansas as well? Just tell me what the costume is. (laughs) (laughs) Pirate. Pirate. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Uh, And then Atlanta and Nashville. Rabbit. That's who's doing the rabbit in Atlanta and Nashville? And Nashville. What are you people doing? What kind of rabbit is this? Is this like social media? Is this, I mean, which gender is primarily searching for rabbit? Because that would tell me a lot too. That that would be a good indicator. I it does not break it down. They don't give us that. No, it doesn't break it down. And you know what's interesting is that there's a separate article here. Just you just Google top, you know, Halloween costumes. Mm -hmm. It is a witch, double double verified with two different uh, two different sources. Why is a witch so popular? Um, I think it's easy. It's easy. You can make, you can be like a funny witch. You could be a sexy witch. You could be uh, a regular person with a witch hat for minimal effort. It's easy. It's Halloweenish. It's yeah. Like... Um, so it so it's funny because that was USA Today from just Google. Mm-hmm. Um, I am now on Variety. Okay. Talking about the best pop culture Halloween costumes, which is interesting. Variety is kind of Coming at this from maybe a, a more similar lens that we, that we would we be were with, thinking than we yeah. were thinking of. So I this was is like, probably going to be more big city. Mm-hmm. My ge- my guesses for this list are going to include Harley Quinn. So um, the first one is Squid Game. Squid like Game, we talk, like talked I thought. About. Apparently, there's Squid Loki Game is track probably on there already on Amazon. Oh yeah! Oh for sure. I can't, that's fast. They're not official. They're not. A, I mean, they're official enough to be. On this variety article, which I guess I guess means very little nowadays, but um, it's interesting. It's just a tracksuit that has some very minor, you know, coloring mm-hmm. differences on it. So it doesn't actually have to be very intricate or unique to look like sure. the show. Yeah. Um, there is red guard costume, which is a, the, basically the same tracksuit, but there's like a mask, and they basically cheated. It's kind of like one of those masks that you use for like skiing. Uh-huh. It's like a like a full head sock, yeah. and then on the top they put a little circle. It's definitely mm. not. It's it's going to be one of those like Halloween like close enough. Close enough, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Uh, Kim Kardashian at the Met Gala is the oh second one. Oh my gosh, that's funny. That's funny. And they basically link you to an uh, an Amazon, which just has a black bodysuit <laughs> for thirty dollars. <laughs> I mean, I mean, okay, points for that. If I saw that, I would laugh. That's, that's clever. Yeah. Uh, this one, oh boy, this is like too highfalutin for me. ASAP Rocky at the Met Gala. I guess that's a costume. I don't know what he wore. I don't recall. He wore what looks like a quilted, like a vintage polyester looking... Oh, yes. 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 Apparently. Yeah, it just looked like a blanket. <laughs> yeah, and there's somebody on Etsy has made like basically a copy of that pattern. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, oh, Tony Soprano. Hey, that's a good one. That's a really good Oh, because of the many because things of, of the, Newark. Uh-huh. So it's like a young Tony Soprano. Uh, this, I mean, I guess they just kind of keep it ambiguous because the listing just shows a, a like a velvet tracksuit or velour tracksuit. Oh, okay. Which I still think I could pull off. Do you think I could pull off a velour uh, tracksuit? What's the next one? Okay. <laughs> <sighs> um... Amanda Gorman, the um, the poet that uh, spoke at the uh, inauguration. Oh yeah, yeah. That's people are dressing like her for Halloween. They're saying that's one of the top like kind of pop culture. Uh... Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah, I was. I, I, mean, I don't I feel think like the year if has... I saw someone dressed as her, I, I would uh, immediately recognize who uh, they were. There, dressed she has like as. A, a headband, like a red. Yes. Kind of headband, right? and then like a yellow like blazer. And I, and that's basically, I guess, what the uh, But I don't is. think it would click. I'd, I'd probably I'd be I'd need an confused. explainer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Princess Diana. I've seen this online. Oh. A lot of people have been doing, like, the, like, running shorts with, like, a oversized sweater. Mm-hmm. Have you seen that? Mm-hmm. Well, and that new um, movie is coming out with Kristen Stewart playing uh, oh, Princess Diana. Yep. So it's, everybody's talking about it. And there's such nostalgia for the 80s and 90s right now as there it is. is. And apparently, like, her most, I guess, one of her famous ones was, like, a... Uh, like a sweater that's a Harvard sweater mm-hmm. uh, with like bike shorts mm-hmm. and uh, looks like Champion brand. And then sells you just need the, the little sweater. short haircut, flippy there you blonde go. haircut. Nike sneakers and everything. Uh, Money Heist. 
Money Heist. Money Heist. Is that a show? Series finale. Won't hit Netflix. It's a Netflix show. Okay. I thought I've, yeah, Can't heard keep of up. it. Yeah. Not, not keep but I've not, we were not watching that. Don't no. know about it. Larry David, Curb Your Enthusiasm. That's, that's a great a good, costume. That's a good one. <laughs> that is a good one. Uh, so the glasses, I feel like are the <laughs> kind of the biggest part of it because he's kind of known for wearing just kind of bleh. Yeah, I mean, if you have it's it's that's a costume that you have to be in character all night for people to you know to who com- you are. You have to commit. You have to, to commit. You have to wear the bald cap, the glasses. You have to be in character. You have to talk like him. Yeah, you have to go mm. because yes, because your clothes need to just be like a cardigan, a plain shirt. Do you think it'd be easier if you had like some kind of like, I mean, that's kind of cheating when people like carry a prop that kind of helps sell their costume. Mm. You know, you could do like the uh, some kind of Seinfeld reference. Sure, you like could maybe you like could. like chips and dip, and you like double dip the chip. You, no. Yeah, you could have fun with it that way. You know, you could also, if you're going to a party, you can just play the theme music when you walk in the door. Yeah, you know, you know what I was, I really was gonna, I liked, uh, I was thinking about it at one point uh, on our site, uh, fanserviceapparel.com. We have two items from Seinfeld. We do, and I really like the sweater that says like Monk's Cafe, home of the big salad. Uh, because I just, I like it. It's just a very subtle reference. Um, I, I almost wanted to go as that and just, just be like, not Jerry, <laughs> but just be like, I guess yeah. you could go as like Jerry Seinfeld in universe. Mm-hmm. That'd be fun. I we just, will tell you, maybe we'll tell you what we're going to be. Oh, maybe. Should we tell them at the end? Yeah, at the end. At, we'll the, end. at the end. Okay, great. Continue. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Among Us. Oh, like we, I, gosh, I haven't. I feel like that's already kind of falling out of the popular culture. Is it? Are kids still playing that? Oh, I don't know. I never did it. I never jumped on that bandwagon. I think we missed it. We missed it. I missed it. Okay. Uh, Simone Biles. Oh, okay. You could wear just, like a leotard. It's, they have like a like a like a Team USA uh-huh. leotard, which again, it like if you put on the leotard, it's like, are you a you're a gymnast? And you're like, no, I'm a Simone Biles. And you're like, okay, I feel like that was weirdly specific because you're just you're you're wearing it like a gym there's nothing like that makes <laughs> you know what that reminded me of what? the halloween episode, episode of, of community, community. yes <laughs> where he's like who are you michelle kwan and he's like christy yamaguchi she, and, <laughs> and she's like and he's like i'm who uh, i forgot who he says peggy fleming oh I, yes i think so and he's like racist uh-huh <laughs> And then he goes, I don't know who Shirley is, but she's not Miss Piggy. And she's like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for, to this day, I cannot listen to ABBA and not think, oh, this is Halloween music because of that episode. <laughs> oh, uh, it was it. really good. Okay, yeah. Harley Quinn, Suicide Squad. Of course. On the list here. Uh, looks like somebody has made like a cosplay uh, like leather kind of like jumpsuit that has the jacket as part of it. Oh. Um, but it's funny on the back. Instead of saying "Live Fast, Die Clown," it says "Live Fast, Die Young." But mm. that is not what's on the back That's of her jacket. Not. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I know a place you can get a jacket that says the right thing on it. Do tell. It's fan service apparel. Oh, yeah. I'll have to check that out check later it out. when check I'm buying it. my big salad sweater. <laughs> Uh, oh, Harley Quinn red dress. I guess that red dress yes. that she wears is another That's one. That's kind of what I imagined. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And uh, I guess as part of that, a training javelin. I don't know that it would be a great idea. It's a big commitment to go to a party dressed up as Harley Quinn with that javelin. Yeah. And just hold that all night. You're going to have to be going careful. Going back to that, like, prop, prop, like, to yeah. sell the co- It's kind of like going as somebody from, like, Will it look the- great? Yes. What if somebody went as like somebody from the door Melage and they had to like carry that the big staff yeah. the whole th- oh god what a commitment looks great but again yeah you looks really great can't. in the photo that's almost like that's almost like when you do a convention and you really want to cosplay mm-hmm. and you want to go to that length mm-hmm. which I feel like it's so funny I feel like so many cosplayers are notoriously bad at Halloween they just like they do yeah, yeah because they do so many costumes for so many specific events all year and Halloween comes around and they just pull random stuff together out of their closet whatever's easy and comfy and they dress up as a witch <laughs> they dre- that's who's doing it oh it's you cosplayers <laughs> out there got it uh Ahsoka Tano <laughs> oh yeah Which... really how are people gonna do that so without it... it looking dumb well 
spoiler alert, most of them are going to look dumb. Uh, um, <laughs> That's the name of the podcast. <laughs> hey. uh, it looks like the costume that they're linking to is basically just like gray poncho looking type outfit and then a foam kind of like headpiece. Yeah. But the thing is, if you don't paint your face, it kind of doesn't work. Or if you do paint it, but you don't do a good job. It looks like you have a weird tan. Yeah. Yeah. Or like people are like, what are you, a cat? What are you, from Jersey Shore? <laughs> you like a Star Wars Jersey Shore mashup? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Corella DeVille. It uh, is. But way far down on the list on this one. Mm-hmm. Um, but, oh, the yeah, oh, the really, yeah, that's really cool. Um, the, the one where she's wearing like, almost like black cake mascara kind of put all over her eyes that looked like a mask and and then then it 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 says the future on it yeah that's kind of the the image they showed yeah that that's a very cool one Mm -hmm. um mandalorian you know i was actually thinking how interesting it was that on those google terms that we were talking about for halloween costumes Mm -hmm. other than baby yoda in illinois there were no star wars ones nobody was searching jedi or mm. Darth Vader. Like, those are some classics that you feel like you see every year. But then again, also, you didn't mention Batman or Superman, and I feel like those are also classics that everybody does. So really interesting yeah. that those those things maybe are... I'm sure they will still be done. I'm sure we will still see it, but they're not on the top of the list right now. They're not on the top of the list, which is, yeah. Pretty... They didn't beat out rabbit or fairy or cowboy. Can't can't mess with the classic uh, or space space cowgirl. That could be so cute. That could be cute. I'm thinking in my mind, I'm thinking the, remember the space people that were in Tomorrowland when Disneyland first opened. With that the had big like bubble the, head that things? Had like That's the exactly really 50, what I was thinking. And then you just replace the little bubble thing. Well, you don't replace it, but you just put a cowboy hat on Inside, top. Inside, oh, or on, on top. top. Yes, and then you have like a silvery holster. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And like so silvery kind of, boots. Kind of like a Buck Rogers kind of thing. Feels like you could see it in like a pinup sci-fi from the 50s kind of thing. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I agree. Um, uh, sorry, I was just looking out the window and an Amazon driver dropped off a package. Ooh, yay! Yay! I love we that. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. <laughs> we just got a letter. It's from Amazon. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I, okay, they're getting more obscure. Crew members in Below Deck. I think that's a show, right? Yeah. To show. It's a reality show? Yeah. It's kind of like, what if you made Downton Abbey into a, a reality show? Because it talks about, like, the crew members that, like, service these, like, really expensive, like, yacht. Oh, sure. Crew excursions or something by rich people. Okay. That's why it's called Below Deck. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, uh, Wanda from WandaVision. I was wondering. And then right below it, retro 1950s vintage dress. Oh, and then the Wanda's Halloween costume. Yeah. That's a fun one, that too. That is so fun. Vision's Halloween costume. That's another good one. LeBron James in Space Jam. I don't know. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, it's just the jersey. Yeah. It's just That's a, an easy one. That's a... That's a Daf, Daphne? Da- Daphne? From Bridgerton. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's another one. But again... You the, know, I even considered that myself, that, actually. That costume is just... I mean, it's a Regency-era dress, and, yeah. you know, if you're in a couple and your significant oh, other is... Lady Gaga from House of Gucci. Oh, that's a good one. That's going to be... Ooh, they got a, they got a faux fur coat that like, looks like this yeah, big... Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really, And really Adam cool. Driver... Gucci vintage sunglasses. Oh, this is a really cool outfit. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, that's, that's a, a fun one. That's a that's a bougie one. Dang, I wish I would have thought of that. Well, there's still time. The Gucci there's store really is open. Not- <laughs> the Gucci, Gucci store is open. It's open for a couple more hours. You yes. just walk in there, you go, make me look like Lady Gaga. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ma'am, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I don't <laughs> just, just have it ready for me. It's ready now. Well then set it aside. <laughs> okay. Uh Ted and Ted Lasso. 
There it is. There it is. There it is. There I it knew is. that one would be popular. Uh, which is just the mustache and a casual dark blue tracksuit. Um, so. Yeah. 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 It's a. Uh, it's easy peasy. Um, we actually have not for Halloween, but if you are a fan of Ted Lasso, you can check out our website, fanserviceapparel.com. And we actually have the AFC Richmond blazer. Um, it's not a blazer. Is it not a blazer? No, it's a windbreaker. <laughs> <That's> Sorry. It. <laughs> Wrong. I know what you meant to you say meant that. To, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because it's just so blazing cool that it's a blazing <laughs> out of the stretch. Um, <laughs> but yes, we have the AFC Richmond uh, windbreaker there, which is kind of like his classic look. Because I think he wears like a polo underneath. He doesn't, he doesn't always wear the track suit. Sometimes no. he wears like a red polo mm-hmm. and then that. And then the the wind the windbreaker over it. Yeah. Um. So, that's a cool one. Check that one out. Um, the Undoing. Grace. Fraser, Nicole. It's a Nicole Kidman character in a movie. Oh, yeah, I, I, don't don't know. Know. I don't know. I don't uh, know. Don't Little Nas X. Okay. In the Call Me by Your Name uh, music video. Okay. That's a I cool mean, one. Hey, he's got a lot of good looks. That'd be. That I, you know, it's funny because that one I feel like if you if you came to a party like that, you'd be like, oh, I know exactly I, who I, you are. I know who mm-hmm. you're dressed up as. I know who you dressed up yeah, as. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so yeah, some interesting interesting uh, costumes here. Interesting Google searches mm-hmm. just on um, just in broad strokes. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, we told you last week that Nick his Halloween costume is based on something that we have in our shop, but we didn't tell you what it was. Tell them what it is. What item will you be wearing for your costume? I'm going to be wearing the Underworld Con 96 hoodie. That's right. From Laura Olympus. From Laura Olympus, which means he is Hades from Laura Olympus, and I'm going to be Persephone. And I'm so excited. <laughs> it's going to be really fun. Um, wish us luck on our makeup because that's what's going to really sell it. Kind mm-hmm. of like we were saying, Ahsoka Tano could go really badly. Um, yeah. You know, it, we're, I'm going to make it look good. I'm really going to try and make it look good. But um, it's going to be so much fun. We're going to a, a costume party with some friends tonight. And I'm curious how many of these costumes we're going to see there. I'm curious. We are going to take notes, Mm -hmm. and we are going to report back, and we are going to get... Somebody better be a rabbit. I need to understand. (laughs) I just need to understand. I can't wrap my head around this. It's bothering me. That rabbit is so popular? Well, the search term was just rabbit. It wasn't like bunny. It wasn't like... It was just rabbit. We're going to get there, and there's going to be like five people dressed up Are they like the Easter bunny? Are they like a rabbit with like floppy ears? Are they... I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't Maybe get it. Maybe it's one of those, like, if you know, you know kind of thing. Like, all the rabbits will be like, <laughs> rabbit? Rabbit? <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> they'll do, like, they'll do, like, the little, like, tap on the nose, like, hmm? Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tug on the ear. Tug on the ear. Tug on like... your rabbit ear. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> They're like, I get it. I get you it. You get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. No. Anyways. Um, and our daughter is Snow White. Has nothing to oh, do yes. with... <laughs> what we're wearing <laughs> but um she wanted to be snow white be it's snow so white. cute and i'll probably post a picture yeah. nick maybe we'll post a picture we'll definitely post something of our costumes oh yes so if you want to see how it turns out and we want you to see how it turns out make sure that you follow us on instagram mm-hmm. um my handle is janae with an accent j-e-n-e underscore with an accent that is my username and mine is everybody goes to rick's all one word. All one word, because they don't allow spaces. <laughs> and that's how you can find us. Yeah. So we'll see you all next week. It'll be past Halloween at that point, and we will report back on how Halloween went and, and how many rabbits we ran into. <laughs> uh, if you see rabbit, witch, cowboy, pirate, fairy in Miami, please take a photo and tag us. <laughs> fairy because... in Miami. <laughs> yeah, or, but most importantly, if your Halloween costume is going to be based around anything that you got from us, which oh, I yes. bet it is because we were slammed with orders. It was insane. It was. It was absolutely nuts. Um, thank you so much. So if you are one of those people, then please tag us in your costume. We really, 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 really want to see it. And um, if it's cool with you, we'll even share it. Yeah. Yeah. Also, if you're a fairy in Miami. If you're a fairy in Miami, yes. Or a bunny anywhere. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, we'll see Have you all next Have a happy Halloween. Week. Bye. Bye.